Hey guys, Brickopotamus here, back with another Felucia update. Welcome to update 4. And I got some good work done in this episode, so you'll be excited to see what I did. Alright, so I'm recording this before. Uh, so my haul video would have been out by now. So, right down here we have this unfinished road. And then up here, unfinished roof. Still got a lot of details here. The thing I have done already is there's all these, sorry, there's just random stuff on the table, but got pretty much all the 1x2s I need. I got some extras, so those will be good for future mocks, but I just covered up anywhere where there was a 1x2 gap, basically, like right here. Uh, let me focus. Here you can see... I just placed 1x2s in all of those places, basically. So, yeah, that's what that was. I also added two more plants. Uh, maybe three more. I have another blue one right there, which I kind of altered the design of a bit compared to the original. I finished off that one over there, and I added this one. And I also need to order some more lever pieces to finish these two plants. So, yeah, have to do that soon. And the other thing I finally did was covered this gap. Almost completely. As you can see, I still have a tiny section right here to finish, which I should be able to do with the parts I have. But, yeah, I can walk you through how I did this right now. Alright, so... These panel pieces that cover the ground are completely modular, which makes it easy to transport, easy to build, easy to everything. So, as you can see, uh, there are these stud bumps in the, in the ground, which is where the snot bricks are. Or most of them, at least. I did have a few, and I did this later, but I had a few of these that I put in afterwards. Or after I designed the original side. So that's how that comes off. This comes off the same way. Like so. This right here comes off. And I think there is... Eight sections of wall like this in total. Sorry for that fly, that's probably really loud. But, and then the last section right here also comes off. So, now you can see this is just tiled off right here all the way across. Well, pretty much. And so is this right here. So, I just place this on the correct snot bricks and it's held up by some pieces like that. Push it in and I think it's legal. Um, I'm not sure. It might, it kind of causes stress here. It kind of pushes it back, but it's not, I mean, like it's never going to be perfect. So I'm not sure. I think it's a legal connection. Uh, for the most part. <laughs> so yeah, I got, uh, I think, eight more panel pieces in, and still have a few left over that I can use for other parts of the mock, probably. So yeah, pretty much finished the outside floor right here. Get a better view. last thing I did with the exterior was added this AAT. I did a live stream of building this, so you can go check that out. It's, I think, two hours exactly. And I will be doing a review on it very soon. I'll probably film that right after I film this, actually. So, yeah, that definitely creates more space than the last one, the set from 2009. And it definitely looks much cleaner and I'm happy to have it alongside my own custom gunship. So this is not my design, this is a design by Idler, I think. Uh, so yeah, reviewing that soon. And let's 
head into making some progress. All right, look at that finished, beautiful, clean roof. Let me move the gunship. So I kind of wanted to do a time lapse of this and I don't know, I just was like, nah, whatever. So yeah, I got um, 202 tiles. I told you guys I'd say how many it was in this update from my haul video. So most of them went here, as you can see, this area right here, right up there, got a few more. And then I, well, let's just go on into the next thing I did. As you can see, this is pretty much finished, this room. So, oh yeah, I don't think I've showed this before, but it's kind of a mess right there. Uh, maybe I'll cover it up, we'll see. You don't really see it at all. But yeah, I finished this roadway that leads out to the, um, whatever you call it. I don't know. Anyways, I'll um, get these floors off so I can show you the progress. Alright, here's what I have for this room. So, I um, added the tops of these table thingies. I'm gonna have four more here. Uh, maybe I'll do something else here, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have two more here, and probably one here, or maybe I'll just tile this off. Have a tiled area right here. And then in here, so as you can see, this is pretty much all the brick I have left, and it's not looking good, but I don't know, maybe I'll order some more. And then this room, gonna have some sort of, I don't know, medical thing, or I'll just change the floor color, have these window panes, like basically these window panes, right here, all along this. Then I'll tile it off on top, and then I'll be another support for the roof, which is good. Uh, and then tile the floor off in here. So that's the plan for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this room. Uh, I might rebuild this window design, thanks to the Lamborghini Waffle Sauce. Because as you can see, these plates, these um, wedges don't line up, but he found a design where they do. So I'll probably be switching to that. And then right here, you can see, and you probably already noticed, I took out this wall and it's destroyed right now because it just wouldn't fit. It, um, I don't really know what I was thinking, like not planning anything, but it fit with this, but then it couldn't fit with the top because it needed to bend in more, if that makes sense just wasn't quite what I needed so already working on rebuilding that and yeah it's pretty much this floor and finally what is probably gonna end up being the thumbnail for this video is the completed roadway so I just went ahead and finished pretty much everything here uh, this wire piece is gonna be connected to the wall that I'm going to replace. Uh, I'm going to add some more boxes, which I need to order. I think I'll order about 50 of those parts. Should create 50 boxes. Um, this little thingy, I, I don't know, I added a few things like that because it looked a little bland. I um, also added that. Finished this. Finished that. Yeah, I pretty much just cleaned up everything that wasn't finished. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this room. And here is the vehicle I plan on putting in this room. Uh, obviously, I'm going to find a custom model or just build my own, which might be easiest because I don't really love how the set looks. And I want to keep it all mocks if I can. So yeah, that's going to be driving out here. And then of course, you've probably noticed the um, massive gaps. I'm planning on covering these arrows in white, so I'll just build little white things here, and then I'll add the two yellow parts I have to add here. 
once I find them. So yeah, that's pretty much this room. One thing I forgot to mention that I did is, I think I already said I was not going to do the crane. And instead, I just put this satellite thingy here. Which I think looks fine. I don't really care, and I wasn't feeling the crane after a while. Which was my original plan. Uh, so I like it. Looks pretty good. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Um, still, I'll just go over everything I still need to do. Still need to finish this room right here. Still need to finish the arrows in here. I need to finish this room. This is like the big room that I need to finish. So, I think I'll do, um, maybe I'll do one more update, but then again, I kind of just want to give you guys the finale at this point. Uh... Yeah, I think I'll just, we'll see. I'll let you know. Uh, I'll redesign this window piece, and I'm already redesigning that window piece. Let me just press that down. Uh, so yeah, and then, of course, there's that little area right there. I'm already working on my Corporate Alliance tank droid, which will go right here. And I will figure out what I want to do for that Republic fighter tank. So, that's pretty much it for this update. I hope everyone enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, share, all that stuff it helps me out. We hit 300 subscribers recently, which was awesome. Uh, I think we're at 330 at the time of recording this, so, you know, nearing 350. Anyways, um... Also, if you guys didn't know, I'm doing live streams every Friday now at 3 to 5 Eastern with guests. So if you want to join, you can message me on Discord. My Discord link is on my channel. And yeah, it's a fun time. So make sure you turn into those. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.